Hello, I'm Entrelissim, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as Australian People's Republic. We're playing together for Victory DLC. We've defeated the Axis. The German Reich have been broken up into... <laughs> I think there's three different Germanies here. It's, a, it's an interesting little mess. Actually, there were three Germanies. Are there only two now? East Germany, Socialist Republic of Germany... United Kingdom, Soviet Union... There was like a little German province over here. I can't remember which one it was. One of these was like a little German province, and I think it must have got given away. <gasps> dun dun dun! Either way, uh, we're trying to make the Socialist Republic of Germany ours. And to do that, well, I actually have some very inf interesting information. Uh, thank you to the comment section. I now know how to decrease their autonomy. Build buildings in them. Which, you know, I'm totally down for, so that makes sense. We're getting ready for all of the Axis. Uh, not the Axis, sorry, the Allies. But firstly, I do want to hit Iran, if possible. And I'm actually going to start claim against Iraq as well. I can always cancel it. You know, not much lost if uh, things go a bit sideways. How long till that done? 20th? 20th of February. Okay, got that. Let's split this group in two. And then I would like you to... Automatic split off. Select. Convoy escort. One. Oh, we can just get there. We can just get there to attack. This is actually outside our range up here. Two, three. Convoy escort. One, two, three. There we go. That should give us enough coverage. Meanwhile, we're training people. Training is going well. Where the hell are you? Down here? You are very... Oh, you're actually getting, getting there. You're getting there. Right, what do we need more of? Uh, rubber. Oh, we only need one more. That's fine. There we go. Now, construction. Let us give them some military factories. I think this is a good idea. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Oh, and there we go, the flags in the background. Cool. Uh, I'm actually going to cancel... Nah, I'll move them to the bottom. We have a lot of these power plants that, quite honestly, they're going to take time to happen. I'd rather we just get, you know, all these things that need to be repaired and then we decrease the autonomy in our state that we own. Our puppet. How are you doing? So that's mine, that's mine. That is... Oh, so that's not mine, right? Ah, I see the distinction. Italy's a bit of a mess, I'm sorry, but it is, uh... It is quite messy. Um, <laughs> I would just say that this is not the prettiest situation we've been left with. Uh, so... In terms of what we do up here to crush Italy when the war starts, we're going to have a whole mess to deal with. Can't draw an offensive line there. I meant the front line. There we go. Front line. Front line. Front line. And then we'll need like another group entirely to defend the rear. Oh, this is a bit of a mess. But what did you expect? And then if I. Shift right click to set units assigned here. There we go. Spread them out a bit. Over here. I mean, are you a general? I think you're all field marshals. Yeah, you're a field marshal. You're a field marshal. Uh, one general's in charge. Yes, yeah, so we can actually split you up and have you have multiple 
Uh, what's my calls? Multiple things. I can words. Multiple troops. Right. South Africa declared war on nationalist South Africa. Uh, okay, um... National South Africa doesn't really have a faction to join. It doesn't have any guarantees. It's military access, but no guarantees. Fair enough. Have fun. Republic of Turkey joined the Allies. Well, that was to be expected. Uh, United Kingdom exerts influence in Republic of Turkey. South Africa, Civil War. Fair enough. I don't really want to get involved in any of those. Alright, how long until two months? And doesn't seem like anyone's going to join in on the fight. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, we should probably split you out a little bit. 22... Get you up to here. Get you there. Get you there. And then we'll probably want to get a little bit more of these guys. Another three here. There we go. And it's company two. Lovely. Probably going to need to have some sort of cruiser with us as well. We've got massive, like, speed buffs on the cruisers. Do we want light cruiser or, like, a heavy cruiser? Uh, um, honestly, we probably want, to an extent, the light cruiser, but we have destroyers that do a pretty decent job. So, I'm... Um, Gonna say we want maybe a heavy cruiser and we just buff it for speed. Not that we have many naval points to buff. Uh, I guess we'll go light. Take us 11 days. Jet engines. Oh, yeah. That's important. Because it means we can finally get ourselves a meteor. It's gonna take us a while to get there, but we can start. Over here, I'd like to send 17 over to Spain. Once the war starts, they're going to be kind of cut off, so we've got to make sure we, we do what we can now. We won't have control of the Suez Canal. We won't have control of Gibraltar, at least until we can get uh, someone invaded in here. That means we'll have to go for around Africa, and we just don't have the support for that. Class. Excellent. Uh, so one of the things I actually want to do with Iran is not just capture it for the oil, but also as a forward staging post for Iraq and then for the Suez Canal. That's going to be very important because as soon as we get the Suez Canal, we will have the ability to go into the Med via a much shorter route than around Africa, which we just won't be able to do with the supplies right. That is going to be incredibly important for us. Uh, in addition to the fact it's got oil, like it hits like several boxes. That's why I'm going for it because not only does it do one thing we need, but it does several things we need. Uh, we'll start grabbing the Crown Colony class. That is going to be difficult to say. Crown Colony class. Actually, not too hard. Uh, and then we'll get the one after that. Oh, we could start an invasion from here. Eritrea. It's a lot closer. It doesn't really give us any bonus. Uh, we'd actually probably have to get the Soviet Union involved in the war to do that. So, I'm going to pass. I think you have to start from someone that's involved in the war to do an attack. Okay, so that gives us a nice bonus. We have an extra research slot, I believe, wasn't that? That was the one with the research slot, or was it the one that gets us to the research slot? I can't remember. No, that was the research slot one. I think. 
No, this was well, the one we need to go. Okay, next we'll get a research slot. I remember what I was doing, don't worry. So we'll be unlocking a research slot very shortly. We'll be unlocking a research slot. Sh 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 Ugh. Slowing my words. I'm obviously very tired right now. I don't know why. I set loads. How are we doing for equipment? Tyler Terry's less than 7k needed. Infantry equipment. Uh, 22. 14 mechanized. 3 motorized. Centurion tank! Well, I'm not even going to look at that because now we're going to start building the Centurion tank. It's going to take us a while. Uh, we're done. We don't even need heavies anymore. There's no point. They're pretty much going to be worse than Centurion. Not definitely worse, but let's compare, actually. This is the super heavy. The Tortoise. Same defense. 10 less breakthrough. 3 less soft attack. Speed is ridiculous. Piercing. Slightly more. Armor. Slightly more. Hard attack. Useful. 1% less hardness. Production is almost a quarter. <laughs> yeah, we're going to use the Centurion. We're actually going to start working on some variants, including the Artillery variant. Because tank variants are honestly underrated. They are amazing. Not underrated, but often forgotten, I guess. Uh, we need to also compare them in the build menu. So, construction. So, what's your speed? 10.5. And the light tank is... 13.7. I'm honestly tempted to say we get two different forms of the Centurion. We get a speedy form, so that you can keep up with a lot of the other vehicles. But that really does depend. Like, let's have a look at the... Carrier. What's your speed? 12. So we can have a 12 kilometer per hour speed. Honestly, I think we'd aim for 12 kilometer per hour speed. I don't know if we'll get it, but we'll try. So we want to increase the engine. That's not too uh, tough. It uses all of our points, but I'm sure it's not too tough. Um, armor. We can drop the reliability another 10% as well, but we're pushing it on the speed. That will leave us with 30% buff. We'll be at 98% reliability. Uh, our speed will be half a kilometer slower. The piercing will be pretty damn good. Soft attack, reasonable. I mean, it's either that or we just up the armor. Maybe attempt to up the armor. Yeah, up the armor. And then we'll have variants that do other jobs. That said, if we're going to be using variants and stuff, we'll need to keep some experience behind for variants. Because right now, we're not really gaining very much. Because we're just getting it from exercises. We're not actually getting it from fighting, which is how you get most of it. So I'm actually going to leave the armor at zero for now. We can always upgrade it later. I mean, it's going to take a lot of work to upgrade it later. Hmm. Let me see. 100 points. Oh, we're going to need it to be able to reform our divisions. Yes. In fact, let's just upgrade the engine to a four for now. Eek. And then, like tank... That's not what I meant. Medium tank replace with the modern tank Mark 1. Modern tank Mark 1. And yeah, I know we're not producing light tanks anymore and the game's going to complain at me like, Oh, you need light tanks for your divisions and stuff. And I'm like, nah, they won't be an issue for much longer. We're going to be getting rid of those. But this is going to mean we need a lot more resources. Like chromium. Yeah. I did say chromium and, uh, woo. We need to actually import some. Uh, surplus steel. That's good to hear. I won't import from the Socialist German Republic, even though I can, because according to the comment section, which is thank you very much, uh, it increases their autonomy because they are providing me with stuff. I don't want that. So let's just decrease the amount of. Stuff there. Decrease the amount of stuff here. Um, decrease the amount of oil? Wow, okay. We're importing a lot. No one's defending Iran and Iraq. Excellent. Not long to go.
Okay, you're all pretty high on equipment. Okay, you got this. That would be almost maxing out rockets. If we get the next one, then we'll think about actually adding rocket divisions to our uh, ground forces. Because they have a very high attack. Okay, just a few more days and the invasion of Iran will begin. I know. You worried about the manpower, I understand. Okay, how are we looking? 17th, 18th, 19th. Begin the objective. And then we'll actually declare war when we are like right about to be on their shore. Or do we need to be a. No, we just need to be attacking at the time. Okay. Declare war. There we go. Now we're on our way. We got the Centurion AVRE. Uh, what do I need more? More steel? Okay. No, I'm not letting you join in, Soviet Union. I'm busy. Uh, I hope I can take it. I'm not sure. I'm not convinced. Uh, right, what do I need? Um, I want to produce the AVRE. I also wanted to get hold of the tank destroyer. You might wonder why I'm not really concerned about the uh, anti-air, and that's because anti-air sucks. Historically and in-game. What do I need as well? Oh, we've got that. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. AVRE. I would like to increase its engine. We'll stick with that for now. And I honestly don't know where we'll put it. I'll put it above the artillery here. In fact, I can't this artillery. It's not doing anything for us right now. And then... We're about to unlock jet engines. So actually just get rid of a fighter entirely. Because while you may say, why are you getting rid of the fighter? You can convert it. It doesn't keep much of the experience when you do that. The uh, production value. So I'm just going to... Actually, I'll, I'll keep it, but I will just decrease it a long way. And I'll get you going. Oh, actually, that might leave us with some spare. I'll shift you. Okay. Oh, holy crap. We need a lot of chromium. What else do we need? Steel. Rubber and oil are actually up on, but I don't care, I won't bother decreasing it. Right, I want to grab half your forces exactly. Put a capable general in charge. And I want to get you down here. Uh, sorry, that should be a redeploying force. There we go. Now the question is, will we be able to take it? Holding with bated breath right now. We're tough! But we're only 10 units. We're using uh, naval invasion tactics from before the beginning of the Second World War. Because I never needed them, so I never bothered upgrading them. <sighs> we should probably upgrade them at some point. No, let's get a little bit of room on that. No one protecting Iran. Uh, Iraq. Good. I am pleased with that.
It's just a moment of truth. It's just waiting time now. What happens next is out of our hands. There is our anti-tank unit, which we only need in very small numbers. Uh, what else do we need? I would say engineering company would be very useful. And then production. Tank destroyer. God damn it. You need to be the other version down here. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Tank destroyer. Whoopsie, doesn't matter. Tank destroyer. Mark 1. There we go. Mark 1, Mark 1. Mark 1, Mark 1. Yes. Uh, we only need like five points in there. You should be good. Right, here we go. Come on. Successful invasion. That is next research slot. Excellent. I appreciate that. Which we will use on... You know, I've been complaining about this. We should grab this. Right. Come on. 90. Just keep it up. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. They could get reinforcements very shortly. We need to make sure we win this quick. Bam! Oh, look, they were actually there, right there waiting for us. Get your troops over here. We need to hold that. We need to hold that line. It's incredibly important right now. Uh, you are turning back. No, don't do that. But this is where we'll end this episode. We have managed to get a foothold in Iran, even if it is only tiny. We need to make sure we uh, use this to our maximum ability. Hello, that's a lot of US forces based in Turkey. Huh, historically correct. Uh, if you've liked this episode, please remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And of course, do consider commenting down below. But until next time, stay shiny. Oh, pardon me. Bye!